In this video from the Points Unknown Garage, I'm going to show you how I install plus nuts using a rivnut tool. Rivnut tools don't work with plus nuts right out of the box, but with minor modifications, it works perfectly. Keep watching to find out how I do it. of the Points Unknown Garage. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, hit like, leave a comment if you have questions. Happy to make videos or answer any questions that you have. Anyway, today I just want to show how I'm going to install uh, this plus nut, uh, quarter inch plus nut, into uh, this metal bar. It's going to serve as a mounting bracket for my kitchen in my van. Um, I've already drilled it out to the right size. It's uh, 2360 fourths uh, is, is the size. Um, in, in imperial units, it's around nine millimeters in metric. Um, again, these are quarter inch plus nuts uh, for that sizing. And um, so I've drilled this metal out already. I do need to put more holes in it, but I, I, I started with just this one. Um, and uh, for starters, just drop it in. Now I like to use um, the Tack Life uh, rib nut and plus nut fitter uh, tool. I like it quite a bit. It comes in this nice handy little case. Um, comes with a bunch of rib nuts, most of which I haven't used in different sizes. Comes in a bunch of, with a bunch of different mandrels, or, you know, different size um, heads that you can put on the unit um, to, to fit different size uh, rib nuts. Unfortunately, this unit, um, at least in the quarter inch size, which is the only size I have tried of standardized around quarter inch, um, does not work with plus nuts, or at least the plus nuts that I've gotten. So here's a standard plus nut, here's the quarter inch mandrel. Um, or you know the bit on the end of this thing and when I put it on there it just doesn't I can spin and spin but it, the, the barrel of the plus nut is just too long to fit this short mandrel and I've sent email inquiries and, and, and tried to uh, tried to get an answer to why they can't make a longer mandrel that makes that works for plus nuts and so far haven't been able to make that work um, but I did come up with my own custom solution that works pretty well um, and so what I do is I take off the anvil which is this part of the Tack Life tool. Um, and I believe this is similar for the Astro tool. It works the same. I don't know if it occurred. I leave the quarter inch mandrel in there and I grab a 3 8 inch washer, one of these big hefty kind of machining 3 8 inch washers. Uh, this one just lives in the case with it because I use it a lot. And it's nice because it fits kind of right over the mandrel. I'll show you here in the video um, that the 3 8 just fits right around that quarter inch mandrel. Um, very well. And what that allows me to do, because I've gotten rid of the anvil, which had some thickness to it compared to the washer, it gives me a little more length um, of the mandrel to screw down the plus nut. So now my plus nut is actually mounted um, just a little bit, just a few threads deep, um, but enough to get it on uh, on that plus nut. Oops, rid of that one. So now it's a pretty simple operation. I just put on a piece of metal. And let's see, I'm trying to do this one handed. <laughs> just start pulling the bars back, and you can see almost instantly the, um, there we go, the plus nut kind of forming around, around the hole. And I pull it back, it keeps on forming until it brings all the way in. Now, um, I could just keep on doing this um, in the same way um, and, and tightening it up, but that's not. My favorite way of doing it, I guess, I guess say. Um, so what I typically do uh, is if I've installed a whole round of, um, of plus nuts, and once I'm done kind of getting them preset, you can see this one's in, but it's not like fully squished in there. Um, and I don't like doing it on the on a 3 8 inch washer um, just because it warps it. In fact, you can see this one's already kind of a little warped. Um, and so what I do instead is I pull it off um, and I put the regular anvil back on the tool and I don't need to tighten it up it seems to be fine just like that and then um, and then I put uh, it back on and and again if I was going to place like a lot of plus nuts in a row I would do all of them kind of halfway um, like I did with the with the washer and then I go back through with the main anvil um, and you can see now when I do it I pull it tight it shrinks all the way in really sticks in there gets it nice and tight and then pull the magic.
Drop that. And um, there you go. There you can see a well-installed plus nut in this piece of steel. So I got to do a few more on this thing. Uh, and then I'll have my mounting bracket, but uh, hopefully that's informative and how I use the tackle air tool to install plus nuts. Thanks again for watching. You see the difference between between the two things that you know people are always asking what's the difference between rib nuts and plus nuts? And uh just zoom in on that. I mean plus nut, quite robust. Rib nut, tiny, and they make some bigger ones than this, but I mean, this, this is what we're looking at here. Pretty, pretty small thing. So, again, I, I go with plus nuts pretty much all the time. They are more expensive, um, but uh, for my use, and I got a 100 pack um, several years ago, I haven't gone through all of them yet.